Hello, myself Rajendra Badi, MSc in Chemistry from C.V. Raman Global University. Uh, today's our experience and learning, which is uh, based on the topic Supramolecular Chemistry. We have discussed about on it on uh, today's lecture. So our topic is Supramolecular Chemistry. Supra molecular in today's lecture we have discussion about some various points which are connected to supramolecular chemistry first of all we have discussed about what is Supramolecular chemistry, the definition and basic introduction. In today's lecture, first of all, we have discussed about what is supramolecular chemistry, the definitions, and some introduction. Then we have discussed about the origin or the history of supramolecular chemistry. Okay, then in the second point we have discussed about the origin or history of supramolecular chemistry. After that, we have discussed on some basic concept, some basic concept which are connected to supramolecular chemistry. After that, the last one is various uses and its application. Okay. In the today's lecture, we have discussed about the four different categories. So, uh, first of all is the what is supramolecular chemistry, which is include the definitions, uh, basic introductions about supramolecular chemistry. After that, the origin and history of supramolecular chemistry. Then the some basic concepts which are connected to supramolecular chemistry. And last one is the uses of supramolecular chemistry or daily life, biological system and uh, any others. Then the applications. So, so we begin first of all we have discussed the introduction. Here uh, we have the supramolecular chemistry. Okay. Here the word supra, here the word supra is a Latin word, okay, which is come from a Latin language that we call the Latin word supra, whose meaning is, supra meaning is above or beyond, above or beyond, okay. Then the meaning of supramolecular chemistry or the definition of supramolecular chemistry is that, it is the chemistry which is beyond the molecule or above the molecule because supra meaning the F of or beyond. Then it is the chemistry, it is the chemistry beyond the molecule. Then uh, this is the general definition. But another definition which is given by J. M. Lenn, that is the, the Jan Mary Lenn, J. M. Lenn, which is written as, now it is the chemistry of intermolecular bonds, okay, it is the chemistry of intermolecular bonds, which are uh, covering uh, the structure and functions of uh, NDD by association of two or more chemical species. That is the another definition which is given by J. M. Lenn. We have written that 
it is the chemistry of intermolecular bonds intermolecular bonds covering the structure and functions of entity by association of two or more chemical species that is the another definition which is given by john marilyn or jm lent of a supra molecular uh, we have know about what is the supra molecule okay what is the supra molecule supra molecule means the molecules are combined with each other to form a bigger size of molecule let us consider we have know about when the atom are combined with ether each other then form the molecule when hydrogen atom undergoes combined with another hydrogen atom that we call the h2 here these are the two hydrogen atom but here h2 is the molecule here the <coughs> during the bond formation of hydrogen atom here the inter covalent bond okay the covalent bond is formed so the atom is more stable but in case of supra molecular chemistry when molecule are combined with each other there is non covalent interaction should be developed okay there is non covalent interaction should be developed so we have discussed about the non covalent interaction non covalent interaction non covalent interaction there are many kinds of non covalent interactions among them first of all the van der waal force van der waal force then pi pi interaction then electrostatic effect effect then the hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding and so on such type of non covalent interaction should be arises between the molecule while they are combined with each other so uh, another is the hydrophobic force hydrophobic hydrophobic force this is the what is the hydrophobic force now let us consider an example when a hair dipped into the water then the hair entered to the water in a manner that it is moving as a circular way not directly that is due to hydrophobic force and another is the hydrogen bonding for the hydrogen bonding let us consider the uh, double helical structure of dna double helix structure of dna okay this is our one helix that the another helix here the double helix structure of dna form due to the presence of hydrogen bonding what the presence of hydrogen bonding so this is our the introduction about uh, supra molecular chemistry this is a basic introduction then we enter to the next part that is the origin or history of supra molecular chemistry then that the next part the origin or history of supra molecular chemistry the origin origin and history 
ऑफ सुप्रा मोलेकुलर केमिस्ट्री फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन द मीड ऑफ ईयर इन द मीड ऑफ 1830 in the mid of 1830 generally a term generally term was introduced only a term introduced that is called supra molecular chemistry okay only a term introduced that is called supra then after the year of 1873 1873 the non covalent interaction which we have discussed about the before That is the van der Waals force. Van der Waals force, which is developed by J. D. Van der Waals. In 1873, and non-covalent interactions between the molecules develop, which is developed by J. D. Van der Waals. Then, in the year of 1894, 1800. 94 then uh, log key model fischer's log key model was developed or introduced fischer not the emil fischer e fischer fischer's log key model log key model fischer's log key model was developed which is based on the principle of forced gas chemistry also another a uh, uh, basic a point or a strong point included with the supra molecular chemistry the due to development of fischer's log key model we have know that a particular log is opened by a particular key aisa to nahi ki hamare paas ek master key hai to wo ye log baat hai but uh, the by particular log is opened by a particular key so that that the uh, given by fischer's uh, log key theory then in the year of 894 is uh, come after that the year of uh, 1920 1920 etmar and rodbos given the hydrogen bonding etmar and rodbos rodbos given the hydrogen bonding concept hydrogen bonding in the year of 1920 etmar and rodbos given the uh, theory of uh, the given the idea about hydrogen bonding then the year of uh, 1960 then the year of 1960 a term supra molecular chemistry take into existence okay Uh, before the various uh, I give some various research. Uh, the term 1960 in the year of 1960, the term supra molecule, supra molecule, come into existence. Then in this uh, year 1960, in this year the 1960, in this year the 1960, and another scientist who is uh, J. Patterson, J. Patterson. Who developed the crown ether? Okay, J. Patterson developed the crown ether. Who is uh, discover? Discover, developed, and synthesized the crown ether. Crown ether. What is the meaning of crown ether? Uh, crown ether. Crown ether is responsible for uh, charge carrying between the molecules. So. This is the another uh, historical sense in supra molecular chemistry. After that, the year of 1980, 1980, uh, another uh, change will be made by the J. M. Len. J. M. Len. J. M. Len. Uh, the receptor theory. The receptor. Receptor theory. What is the receptor theory? Uh, we have no uh, uh, after uh, in the in this topic in this lecture about the receptor theory. But what is the receptor? Uh, receptor is defined as uh, the substance have some cavity in which the the gas molecule 
is completely fitted. That is called the receptor. Then this still developed by the Jem Lin, John Mary Lin. After that, 1987, Nobel Prize was given. Nobel Prize was given to uh, Jane Maryland and Jane Part Jane Parson due to the various uh, research uh, in the field of supramolecular chemistry a Nobel Prize given to Jane Maryland and the Jane Parson in the year of uh, 1987 in the year of uh, 1990 then the uh, fully uh, designed supramolecular chemistry was came into existence then the biological and uh, various chemical aspects should be accepted then uh, supramolecular chemistry is fully taken to expense. This is the origin or history of supramolecular chemistry. After that, we have covered to the third part, which is the basic concepts which are connected to supramolecular chemistry. Basic concepts. Basic concept which are Connected to supramolecular chemistry. There are some basic concepts which are uh, connected to supramolecular chemistry. We have discussed about on it. First of all, the basic concept is that the supramolecular assembly, supra molecular assembly, number. Second, that the theory of a receptor, receptor theory, receptor theory, receptor theory, which is given by the John Maryland, Jam we have known in the previous. Number third one is the molecular recognition, molecular recognition, molecular. Recognization. Number fourth one is molecular self assembly. Then we have discussed about the four different points which are the basic concept connected to supramolecular chemistry. So, first of all, the supramolecular assembly. What is the meaning of supramolecular assembly? We uh, have known that in the previous. Uh, part of this topic the number of a smaller size of molecules are combined with each other in uh, the uh, due to the non covalent interactions they can form the bigger size molecules that is called supramolecular so this concept is called the supramolecular assembly when number of uh, smaller size molecules are combined with each other formed a bigger molecule that is the supramolecular assembly they form the supramolecular assembly then the number one point is clear. Then another point is the receptor theory. We have known that uh, John Mary Lane, the J.M. Lane discovered the receptor theory. What is the receptor theory? It is another way called the host case chemistry, which is based on the uh, chemistry of uh, complementary. Complementary means the selectivity. And when uh, the receptor means a substance which have some cavity to bind the external coming molecules here some cavity which is based on the enzyme substrate theory we, we can say simply enzyme substrate theory they have some cavity to bind the guest molecule which are fitted uh, the guest molecule fitted there the cavity like a receptor that the receptor have a uh, larger in size Okay, receptor have larger in size that is called the host molecule. Then the coming uh, molecule that is called the guest molecule. The coming molecule that is called the guest molecule. That is the guest molecule. Guest molecule. It is smaller in size. Smaller in size. It is larger in size. Larger in size that is called the host molecule. Okay, it is the best of post gas chemistry. Then another important point is the molecular recognition. When 
smaller molecule are combined with each other from the bigger molecule or supra molecule here the non covalent interaction should be developed or arises here we have to know when and host chose or select particular gas molecule particular gas molecule they have some non covalent interaction and the selectivity particular selectivity must be arises between them so we have discussed about the मॉलेक्युलर रेकॉग्नाइजेशन मॉलेक्युलर रेकॉग्नाइजेशन लेट अस कंसीडर दैट थीम मॉलेक्युलर रेकॉग्नाइजेशन मॉलेक्युलर रेकॉग्नाइजेशन लेट अस कंसीडर इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एलिमेंटरी then it is the selective process then let us consider that is our host host that is our host molecule plus there are four different types there are four different types This is our host molecule. These are gas molecule. If the host gas complex will be formed there. So uh, now we have the host molecule and uh, four different type of gas molecule. We know that the molecular recognition based on the theory of selectivity. So what is the theory of selectivity? Let us consider what is the cavity. What is the format what is the cavity of the uh, host molecule the cavity of host molecule can select with the non covalent interactions the gas molecule here four different types of gas molecule such as uh, one is the diamond shape another the triangular another is the circular another is rectangular but among them we have chosen the circular because he, he, he chooses the host molecule automatically chooses automatically select according to their complex According to non-covalent interactions, such as uh, we have discussed about before the pi-pi interactions, hydrogen bonding, Van der Waals force, so many others. So here the, the uh, host gas complex. So here the host gas complex formed as In such like manner, here the post cost complex will be formed in such like manner. So that is called the molecular recognition. It is an important part of supramolecular chemistry. Okay, then we have come to the next part. That is the another important and play of vital role in supramolecular chemistry. That is number four. molecular self assembly okay molecular molecular self assembly first we have discussion about what is the molecular self assembly self means particular uh, himself that is the inside the molecule let us consider it is uh, said in other way, other hand other words in other manner other way that it is the construction inside the molecule without any existence of the outside outside outer side molecules it is the construction of inside without any outside molecules the construction of the system without depending the outside or outsource it cannot depend on the another or other things other molecules it adjust with each other or do anything with each other with the inside the construction with each other inside the molecule not depend on the outside source 
So the molecular self assembly can be categorized or divided into two different types. Uh, number one is the intermolecular intermolecular self assembly and another is intramolecular self assembly. First one is the intermolecular self assembly and another one is intramolecular self assembly. In case of intermolecular self assembly, there are the formation of supramolecules. When molecular combined with each other, they form supramolecules inside the molecules. They are called intermolecular. When intramolecular self assembly should be developed, then uh, when intramolecular self assembly should be developed, there is the various examples such as we have known about LCD. LCD. LCD, which is a liquid crystal display. Inside the LCD, we have uh, so see that the inter intramolecular self assembly. That's the second one is that in inside the LCD. And the cell that we have uh, in the cell that the cell membrane, cell membrane inside our body, the cell membrane. So uh, this is the basic concept about supramolecular chemistry. Then we have to enter to the last part, which is the last one, as it was various uses and applications of supramolecular chemistry. Then another part is most interesting, that is the uses and uh, various uh, applications of uh, supramolecular chemistry. That is the last one uses and applications of supramolecular chemistry. First we have a discussion about the uses. Here we have found, we have known that the supramolecular chemistry must be used. First of all, to study the structure of, structure of protein, we have studied the structure of protein, structure of the structure of protein molecules protein molecules number one is that number second is study of structure of dna we discussed about before dna the double helix structure which is due to the uh, um, non covalent interactions of hydrogen bonding okay number third one is Neurovascular transmission, neuro transmission during the transfer transmission of a message during the transfer of message to the neurons where the supramolecular chemistry should be developed. So there are the various uses and uh, uh, we have discussed about the applications. Uh, there are various applications among them. We have discussed about that the uh, first one is material terminology. Material material terminology we know that uh, the smaller size of molecule are combined with each other from the bigger molecule so in material terminology when bigger size of molecule are uh, come into existence we have uh, calculate or discussion about that using the supramolecular chemistry concept that is called material terminology it is uses in various way of medicine Medicines, manufacturing components and various ways are used, various medicines. When we add the various medicines, it act in particular areas. When we have uh, the um, such like symptoms of headache, when we enter the medicine, it cannot affect any of our body. But it is affected in particular area, in our head, in our headache, in the hair neurons, in the particular area, that is due to the Supramolecular chemistry, we have uh, known the Lucky theory, this was Lucky metals, uh, then uh, receptor theory, that is uh, based on uh, this topic. Uh, then we have discussed about the third data storage and processing, data storage and processing. In computers, uh, various coding are uh, used uh, by using the supramolecular chemistry due to uh, the various programming or done uh, by using the supramolecular concept theory or the application of supramolecular chemistry. Uh, so the data storage processing is based on the supramolecular application which is 
uh, on supramolecular the chemistry. Then another uh, is the supramolecular catalyst. So such type of various applications are uh, coming to nowadays uh, the other generation. So supramolecular chemistry play a vital role in our biological as well as our uh, industrial and various purposes. So supramolecular came into existence. That is the our topic. Uh, today's lecture we have discussed about on it. Uh, after that, our lecture name is uh, covered. Thank you.